trying to explain the valve setup. Um, what it is, we've connected our line sets. They're pretty so straightforward. They uh, they just screw on, okay, and um, they're very simple to to attach. So you've got each line set is connected quite simply in pairs. You've got the first pair, the second pair, the third pair, and the fourth pair. And each pair comes with a large, a large diameter um, head and a small one. Um, you can just see that there's basically a large pipe and a small pipe. Um, so what we're going to do then is once we've once we've connected our, our our line sets to the condenser, it's very simple. You see these valves here. These are valve covers, and on the back. We undo the valve cover and inside is a little allen key um, attachment and what we do is we just open the valve we should hear a slight hiss you may do you may not um, and don't force it just turn it until it opens and you don't get any more resistance so you get a bit more resistance um, so it's fully open okay so once you've basically taken off your your caps and you've opened up the valves okay like i said in the simple way of just undoing them with the allen wrench that's provided in the kit um, then you're going to take this one, and this is only for the, for the larger units, but just check your unit. Um, you'll see at the top of the stack, there's uh, another valve cover. This, this, this one does exactly the same as the valve pairs, um, and this is what they call the king valve. Okay, and what we're going to do, this, is, this essentially turns the tap on for the system. We open up this valve, and then it pressurizes the system, all right, because it releases it from the condenser into the, um, into the line sets. And... Um, we're good to test the system then. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we will get a, um, some dishwash, uh, dishwashing soap, um, either in a squirty bottle or with a small little paintbrush, and we will then just dab it on the connections, this side and at the ha air handler side, okay? So you're just gonna dab it onto the connections and you're just gonna check. And if you have any leaks, which you shouldn't have because it's double sealed, it has two O-rings, um, we didn't have any problems with ours. But like I said, it's just a safety check. So you're going to basically release the system pressure. You're going to go through, you're going to check each one by pulling in your paintbrush or spraying on your spray bottle, however you want to do it. And you're just going to check and make sure that it seems okay. And then obviously you're going to do the air handler side and also any connections that you might have with line sets with the couplers, just to check those. So remember, make sure you check for leaks first before you seal it all back up. All right, it's very important. Don't seal it up and then have to take it off again. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward.